Kelly's Island on Lake Erie in northwest Ohio is a party destination, especially in the summer, which is when we spend a half day there. However, there is a nice state park there, as well as some other areas that we were able to escape the partying and get into nature. Join us in this episode as we find some moments of solitude and some pictures on Kelly's Island. Oh, that's interesting. All right, well, after waiting about an hour and a half, we finally got a golf cart here on Kelly's Island, about a must-have if you don't bring your car over here to get around. And we're up here at Kelly's Island State Park. This looks pretty nice so far. Yep, there's a very interesting building behind us. And uh, there's Lake Erie over here um, and uh, we're gonna just check out this state park and see what there is to see what are you hoping to shoot um I have no idea what th this place has to offer um, you know there's some trails there so hopefully um, we can get a little off the beaten path because there is a, um, a sandy beach over here that is very nice but it's clogged with people so hopefully maybe we can find um, some more picturesque isolated locations but I don't know this place is pretty overrun with people but uh, we should find some interesting stuff um, maybe a pretty um, water bird would be nice whatever we can find hmm. how's the exposure going down here well you know, these all pillars are all bright from the sun, and these pillars towards the center are much darker. So it's pretty contrasty there. Maybe actually shooting down this one might be better because I think they're both darker. Oh, dude, look, there's trees growing inside the building. I, oh, I just oh love, wow. I love, you know, it's kind of a cliche, but I think it always looks amazing when you have trees and plants, you know, reclaiming uh, a structure. And uh, I've just always been fascinated when you have trees growing up out of a, uh, a building or a house. So this, this looks awesome. Let's, let's check it out. So even though we were just beaten by a group of people here, still have the opportunity to plan out shots for when they leave, don't you? Yeah. And that's exactly what I'm doing. I'm looking around, seeing what's the best angle. Um, you know, typically, obviously, because it's a giant tree coming out of here, I'm wanting to uh, get as far away as possible so I can get as much of the structure. But I think it's going to really look spectacular because... Uh, this concrete and these bricks look really rough and old and uh, don't have a super modern feel to them. And the tree is of a really, there are several trees. There are like one, two, three, four, about five medium sized trees and a, about five other saplings. And uh, it looks, it looks spectacular. I mean, it looks just epic. It's it just beautiful, beautiful space. I, Hope this continues to exist for years and years to come because this is probably going to be the most visually interesting thing on this island, I would imagine. Well, an unexpected find here, but a welcome one, huh? Yeah, absolutely. And I find 
you know, sometimes the unexpected finds are the ones you really remember a lot more than maybe the main attraction that, uh, you know, is advertised all over the internet. For the record, I am sure this place is advertised all over the internet and uh, we just didn't see this okay. <laughs> before we got here. Right. Again, Kelly's Island State Park. This is right close to one trail and right close to the area that we parked our golf carts at too. So definitely a cool old building here to check out. Yeah, I'm guessing some sort of manufacturing or maybe some, maybe, uh, some sort of grain storage or who knows. you ventured down there what'd you see while I was up here flying the drone you can tell that uh, they they're just not a lot of old growth down there so you know just a lot of very young plants not a ton of growth so it's easy to walk around which is really nice compared to you know like the woods that you typically find so that was kind of nice to be able to just go in any direction but like I said, you know, really light greens. Um, that's another thing I like is, you know, you get kind of darker green in your older growth forest. But with that, it's, you know, still relatively not a super long time since, obviously, since this uh, was an actual um, mine, an active quarry. So uh, it just, you know, just kind of a different environment, young, a younger environment, very pretty. Well, Eagle Eye Luke spotted some camera ants over there. I think they're camera ants. Really cool on a dead tree. Good catch there as we were just driving around here on Kelly's Island. It looks very picturesque. There's, oh man, I don't know, a little over about a dozen of them on this dead tree out, uh, out on the edge of the island. It looks very, it looks very dramatic. Well, we were driving by and spotted a little beach area here with a wall. And Luke, you said you were told by somebody that there are snakes that will live in this area and you were able to find a couple. I, I did, yeah. Um, I found two. One was um, really strung out along this uh, brick wall and the other one is kind of bunched up in there. 
Um, the one that I saw was probably about this long at least. Um, and this one, judging by its thickness, is probably even bigger, but most of its body is hidden in the wall, so it's hard to know just how big it is. Uh, but I was told that the that this wall, when it's sunny out, there will be like dozens of these snakes in the wall, sunning themselves. That ended our time on Kelly's Island as we headed out on the ferry and back to East Harbor State Park, which is where we were camping. Thank you so much for watching. Check out our next video where we visit East Harbor State Park, Oak Openings Metro Park in Toledo, Ottawa National Wildlife Refuge, and Putten Bay, and Perry's International Victory and Peace Memorial. That memorial was even cooler than we were expecting, and we got to go all the way to the top of the tower.